You feel like you're back to where you were, getting close to that point? Definitely. Uh, it's all about uh, getting back in the drills and, and uh, shaking off the rust when I'm feeling good. Just in terms of getting back into playing shape and getting back out in the field, is that going to be something you'll be able to to do this this off season or coach games? Coach Doyle has got us working, and there's no doubt in my mind I'll be ready uh, come August. So he's putting us through some intense stuff. So uh, we'll be ready. So what kind of stuff? What kind of just, stuff? Just uh, you know, all sorts of conditioning, speed conditioning, weightlifting, all the gamut. You know, making things hard now so it's so it's easier later. These guys look good. Yeah, they're athletic guys. It's a good, good crop of guys. So we'll have we'll have some young guns, but they'll be they'll be good and ready. What's the, what's going to be the biggest thing for them? The biggest thing for them, it's it's uh, on field experience. There's nothing like uh, starting a game in Kinnick, and so it's it's just a matter of putting in the time and uh, getting out on the field. And eventually, you know, you get broke in and you uh, you know uh, learn the way. So. Uh, Darrell to, to Marvin, Marvin to you. Is that overstating things? Um, no, I mean it's it's it, it, it's fun for the media. It's fun for the for, for the fans. But you know we're focused on all of us. Focus on as a crew, as a receiving crew, to be the best. You know together, and we're trying to be better than what Marvin DJ or what me and Marv or like we're trying to just keep the receiving uh, receiving core going, uh, building, and you know keep those young guys, you know, to to want to build on us, to be better than us, what we do. So it's just a stepping stone. We're trying to really ch trying to compete against ourselves, our past selves, or whoever it was back, like like Marvin or DJ or Donnie and Norman, anybody. We're just really trying to compete. How are the young guys looking? Right now, I think they're looking really really good. I, I, their work their work ethic is there, and that's one thing. You know, I wish I would have had coming in is just being ready to go in and stuff. They, they're coming in wanting to make an impact, and I really like that. It, that's what's keeping us going, keeping the older guys going, just knowing that these young guys aren't playing. You know, these guys, are, they're trying to help. And to, for, for that, that's going to make us our whole receiving core, our whole team. Better. How about on-field? Anything different just in terms of, I don't know, scheme, routes? I mean, yeah, it's going to be different. It's definitely going to be different. It's more, I think, more shotgun, uh, Kind of spread, but you know, same. It's going to be Iowa football. So you're going to see a lot of stuff that we've always been working on. It's, it's going to be Iowa Hawkeyes football. So. How are things coming around for you guys? For football? Yeah, as a unit. Yeah. Uh, in terms of offensive line, there's going to be a lot of competition come off fall. Uh, that's good. I think it brings out the best in everyone. You got to compete day after day. After day. Nothing's given to you. Uh, you got to earn it, and, and that's that's the best thing. Uh, no one can be complacent. Day after day, you got to come and embrace the grind and, and get after it. It's important, and what can help you do things this time of year to get ready for August and September? You got to do uh, what Coach Doyle uh, and the strength staff uh, present you in terms of workouts in the summer. But also, you got to do the extra stuff. You got to go out and uh, do pass sets uh, on your own. You got to watch tape on your own. You got to do the little things, the extras. Uh, that uh, other people may not want to do during the summer. How much does something like that play in the recruiting? Is that, would that be big for you if they would have had that? Um, you know, not for me, just because I'm you know more of a local, local yeah. guy. Because you know I've you know I've been around it some, and you know I kind of knew what to expect and you know what the you know the university had to offer. But you know somebody who's coming here for the first time, obviously that's uh, probably a huge deal to see a new building you know as big as that and as nice as that's going to be. I think that'll you know I think that'll help us out a lot. Fifteen commits already for next year. If I remember right, you had a very late offer mm -hmm. from Iowa. Kind of take me to back to that and kind of that routine game for you. How that all went? Um, yeah, I was. I think I was the very last one that you know that we got. And that was not. That was two days, three days before signing day. And, you know, now you know, over the past two, three years, it's just uh, recruiting's over. You know, at the end of the summer, you know, guys are the classes are almost full by. 
you know, halfway through the season. And that's just, uh, that's just the way college football is becoming now. You know, guys are committing um, a lot earlier. And, uh, you know, luckily, I, you know, I came out of high school when I did. So, you know, it helped me out a lot. The tap of being a college football fan for a minute. Yeah, the 14 player. Is that going to be good for college football? I think it'll be, I think it'll be pretty sweet, you know. And, um, you know, hopefully that applies to us, uh, you know, coming in the next few seasons. So hopefully we can be a, a part of that. But I think it's, uh, you know, it's a step in the right direction for uh, college football. And, uh, you know, I think you can only build from there.